What's going on guys? My name is Trevor and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about episode 1 of the brand new HBO Max series, Lovecraft Country, produced by J.J. Abrams and Jordan Peele. That should get you excited enough, but go ahead and share your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Are you excited for it? Are you going to be checking it out? What did you think about episode 1? Let's talk about it down below in the comment section. It's going to be half spoiler free review and half spoiler filled review. The last couple minutes I'll give a spoiler warning in case you haven't seen the show. We're going to talk about a couple things that happen towards the end of the episode. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. So, Honestly, I wasn't really looking forward to the show. I didn't really know it was coming out until I started seeing my YouTube friends and people on Twitter talking about how great this show is. And I was like, okay, maybe it's worth checking out. And I, so I checked it out last night on Sunday night when it came on. And I'm not going to lie to you, I couldn't get into it. It was about 30 minutes in, and it's definitely a slower episode, build-up episode, as generally most episode ones are. 30 minutes in, and I turned it off. Maybe I wasn't in the right mindset. Maybe I was just in a bad mood. So I got home early today. And I said, you know what, I'm going to try to watch this episode again, started from start to finish, and the beginning is definitely a little slower as we're trying to build up, build up, but thank goodness I finished it, because by the time we get to the end, oh my goodness, and this is labeled a sci-fi show, and basically when you're watching until the last 20 minutes or so, you're not going to really get much sci-fi vibes, you get a little bit here and there, but most of the time it's like an adventure you're going on with our main characters, Atticus, Lydia, and their, his uncle George, they're going on this adventure to go and find his father who went missing, and that's what you're kind of going with that, you're like, okay, I'm finally getting in here, it takes a little bit of a build up to get to that point, and the episode's hour and 15 minutes, so definitely had a long time to kind of prolong and really play out, so leading up to that point definitely felt a little bit slow, and maybe too slow at times, but that's a minor nitpick, because as the show episode starts getting going on and on, it gets just crazier and crazier, and I'm trying to walk on thin water here and not give away any spoilers, because we're going to get to that here in a second, but the adventure was interesting enough. They all have drama and demons are trying to battle with them and themselves, and Atticus and his father were never close, and so that he came back from the military to go and find his father. Definitely has like the long love for his father, even though they're not that close and they don't really like each other. They almost resent each other in a way, so... To see this family get together and go on like an adventure like this that we get to take part of and go on with. And we start seeing some weird things along the way from segregation. But also we get to a thing that Atticus might know more than we are actually a he's intruding to and everything like that. But the episode beginning was definitely a little slow. But as we got to the end, it definitely got me excited for the rest of the series. And now we're just going to jump into some spoilers. I really want to talk about the last 20 minutes alone. So if you haven't seen it or if you just don't care... Here we go. Spoilers. Warning in three, two, one. Now, so the last twenty minutes, they keep talking about these stories that they've heard and they, the place they're going to. They, they've heard these stories of these creatures that were there, and they're in the forest, basically getting bullied by these police officers. And there's five police officers: Atticus, Lydia, and Uncle George, and they're in the forest. And these little aliens and like monsters are starting to make little like laugh noises. And George and Atticus know about this because they've read stories about it. They've heard about it. And these police officers are so naive. And then they just start getting bit in half, ripped limb by limb, piece by piece. They start getting picked apart. And I was like, this is the show I signed up for. This is worth the $14.99 for HBO Max. That's what got me finally hooked. And seeing these monsters just take over people and people, I was like, this is crazy, and then by the end of the episode, they end up getting to where they were trying to go, and the guy they meet there looks weird, first off, looks extremely weird, but also, he was then saying, like, welcome home, you're here, and it definitely finished off with a bang, and that's the kind of only spoilers I want to talk about, it's just a huge action-packed monster sci-fi horror scene, which was very cool, kind of cliche with the monsters, it can't be seen in the light, ah, shocker, it's like a vampire type thing, and if you get bit by one, you turn into one, oh man, we've seen that before, yes, but definitely a very interesting show, definitely got my attention now, and I'm definitely looking forward to every Sunday night, and that's going to do it for this video, talking quick thoughts on Lovecraft Country, episode 2, next Sunday night, I will be dropping my reviews on every Sunday, again, I'm the last person on YouTube to talk about this, but if you guys made it this far, and you guys stuck around, comment down below, hashtag Lovecraft Country, thank you guys so much for watching, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.